Um, might go to a slightly different question now uh, to David from the web um, and going back to some of the difficulties you were speaking about earlier with the people you know. Um, so we've got one from Holly Gordon um, and she asked how we can help international students to con contribute to the community and get experience or work to then become citizens as so many desire. Um, and she's asked if this could be framed around labour mobility, um, but I'd also like to hear about some of your experiences as well. Um, well, I would start first by saying that we, we're lucky today because we've got the listening ear of the politicians. Why? Because we're talking about an employment issue, uh, not just an issue by itself, now, because it's now connected to economic and social imperative. And that way, all the governments, any governments at core, of course, have to sort of contribute towards their economy and they have to listen to the issue of, of, um, of labor mobility. For me, it comes down again, I'm going to lower it again to, to the discussion, it's come down to how individual country receives or handles or, or treat anybody who comes to their country. And it's come back again to the laws about migration or refugee settlement. And how they are treated has a huge impact on how long, even if it's an international student, it depends on how long they can come and finish their education and continue and find job. So again, it's all come back to how we treat uh, the international students on their arrival. 